Welcome to Celebrating Act 2. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life. Welcome back, and good to see you, John. Uh, good to see you. Good to be seen, and thank you for joining us, everybody. We appreciate uh, you tuning in to our videos and subscribing, of course, subscribing to all our videos on um, YouTube. Yeah. Appreciate it. Um, uh, one of the things we uh, made effort at doing with Celebrating Act 2 is to remain useful to you, the over 50 audience, people who are celebrating their second act, and um, useful and relevant, I think, is, is another good word. Uh, for instance, we've just done a bunch of videos that you'll be seeing very soon um, relating to the COVID-19 pandemic you know it's mm. going to be with us for a while don't you think art oh yeah i i think uh, probably until there's a vaccine especially for uh, those of us in our act two it's probably going to be a, a lot a lot longer if, yeah well into 2021 oh well who knows how long right yeah so um yeah and we are you know if you're over 50 you're almost by definition in the uh most vulnerable uh, group. Um, but so anyway, celebrating act two is the whole idea is to be the user manual for the second half of your life. And one of the things Art and I have been doing is trying to make it uh, relevant to everybody and topical. So for instance, uh, we just did a bunch of videos that you'll be seeing soon, one of which is uh, all related to COVID-19 mm. uh, and the fact that we're dealing with various different ways, one of which is uh, our good friend John Mariani, travel and food expert, um, talks about traveling in the USA. Now, he's a guy who doesn't want to get on an airplane, so he has a lot of good information, good ideas about traveling in the USA by car. And uh, conversely, we met Libby Perry, who is a subscriber, and she has just gotten off an airplane uh, traveling a across the country to drop her daughter at college. So she relates a lot of good information about her trip on airplanes and the experience, uh, which I think we don't hear a lot about. All I hear about is uh, the airplane industry is going um, bankrupt, you know, because they don't have enough well, passengers. Well, well, let's, well, let's not, uh, let's not uh, <clears throat> let people think that they're not going bankrupt because, uh, quite frankly, uh, uh, well, particularly Libby, uh, chose Southwest Airlines. And in fact, uh, just yes, yesterday, my son uh, had to fly to Texas on a, a video shoot, and uh, they went on Delta. And the reason those airlines were chosen is that they're only taking two-thirds capacity, which means the middle seats are empty. Other airlines are not following that kind of thing. And also, uh, 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 both uh, John uh, is not really traveling, he's taking baby steps, uh, you know, by car and not going any place where he has to worry about being out overnight. And uh, even Libby, who used to travel extensively uh, for right. business, says that that's all, that's all done now and that they felt uh, compelled uh, to take their daughter, but they would not necessarily get on another airplane right. if it weren't for something like that. But on the other hand, they're all their experiences that they've reported so far have been positive within a right. very limited scope of uh, travel. So people should know that, that if you need to get on an airplane, um, there are certain airplanes you can take that will uh, probably give you a lot more peace of mind uh, in their cleanliness, in their capacity, uh, and so on and so forth. Uh, but uh, I don't think uh, travel other than by car locally uh, is uh, getting back to any kind of normal. What? Uh, how do you well, think? Well, here's the here's the important takeaway, and that is you need to watch our videos. Yes. Um, both videos give you a lot of a lot of good information. Uh, obviously, a lot of opinion, um, but that's important because we're not getting enough information. I I think in, in the age of uh, our pandemic, uh, we're not being told all the information we need, and to have first-hand experience from these two people, uh, kind of opposite opinions, really good information. You need these videos. 
And likewise, we've been doing uh, videos with Dr. Liz about COVID-19, right. uh, more on the medical, technical side of it. And most recently, a video with Michelle Fabrega, our love and relation coach, uh, love and relationship coach, about the stress on relationships right. uh, from being sequestered from uh, the lockdown, whatever you want to call it. So all of this is good information. You need to watch these videos. They're topical. They're informative. Uh, some of them are opinion. Some of them are uh, expert opinion. So we present these to you because if you're over 50, you need good information and you need to have some inspiration along the way. And you also need some entertainment. We got plenty of that on our website and on our YouTube channel. So yeah, and hope I you subscribe. Right, and also uh, uh, in our personal lives, with uh, us uh, venturing out into the world a little bit more, uh, we're giving you some of our experiences. Uh, some of our family members are, uh, our kids are, uh, some are back at work, some at home. We have all have grandkids that are going to school, and what that experience is or isn't like, uh, whether they have classrooms or not, and we share that with you. A lot of that on our weekly blog, uh, and uh, uh, we're happy to share that, and we look forward to sharing other things that may be of interest to you that we haven't particularly thought of, where you say, hey, you know what, the travel thing, we just did this. We, we rented an RV, and we found out right. that going to one of these campground places felt very safe, or it was we went out there and it was a terrible experience. Whatever it is, we'd like to hear from you so that we can share that. Uh, with the rest you of bet. your audience. Yeah, and remember, it's, it, it is all about sharing our information and uh, inspiring people to live the best they can under whatever circumstances, in this case, uh, the COVID pandemic. Um, but it is all about celebrating your second act, the second half of your life. Right, so, and no matter what it's throwing at us, uh, we will deal with it. And five years from now, COVID will be hopefully well, well beyond our rearview mirror. And we'll be talking about other issues that are important to us uh, to right. make our lives happier and healthier uh, and so that we can get more out of it. So thank you for Good. joining us. And see you soon. See ya. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.